Today we have something really cool. This one goes up to 16 terabytes of storage. And uh, you can choose varieties of capacity for this one because it goes from 512, 1, 2 terabytes, 8 and 16 terabytes. Shemi doesn't have even 4 because then we would have something right in the middle. But regardless of that, today we're going to talk about Team Group AX2 Elite 2.5 inch 6 gigabits per second SATA 3 SSD. And uh, of course we're going to run some benchmarks. But before we do that, as per usual, we do have to go through some specs because you do need to know some things about this SSD before you buy and even decide to do so. And uh, this will give you some heads up about the product. Now, this one has three years limited warranty. It comes at very low cost and this is quite interesting, but we'll get to the part for the low cost quite soon. Then what I can add is it has a responsive performance within the cache and uh, fast to recover. Uh, the controller is Silicon Motion SM2258 XT NAND Extend ECC, which, which utilizes one kilobyte uh, code word LDPC and RIDE, along with SRAM ECC and end-to-end -end data path protection to ensure data integrity. It's a bit older controller, I do have to say, which is based on a single 32-bit ARC CPU and is produced on a low-power 40 nanometer process node for cost effectiveness. Now this is the part where I mentioned that I will explain the low cost situation. The memory is SanDisk BICS 496 LTLC, which is more reliable than QLC, two on each side of the PCB. Endurance is 1600 TBW, which is much higher than the QLC competitors, and I'm talking about the 2 terabyte version. We have 2.5 inch uh, 7 millimeter form factor, which is kind of obvious, but the thickness is quite important because I do have to mention that as well. It supports trim as smart data reporting. Unfortunately, it's drumless and it lacks hardware based AES 256 uh, bit encryption. Uh, now, it does have 256 bit encryption, but it's most likely software based regarding the part that I just mentioned earlier. So for those that are looking for more consistent performance and higher reliability, DRAM based SSDs are the way to go. Even if you're not willing to give a bit more money for that uh, DRAM based 2.5 inch SSD. Operating temperature is from 0 to 70 degrees Celsius. Storage temperature is from minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius. Uh, 16 terabytes. Uh, I have to mention this because the 16 terabyte is one that is interesting uh, to me. It goes up to... 20,000 TBW. Uh, crystal disk mark what they uh, shown in the performance goes up to 550 megabytes read and 520 megabytes write. Mean time before failure is 1 million hours and as I've already stated, a 3 years limited warranty. It also has SLC caching and uh, even though I did uh, just give you loads of specs and details, uh, it's... Uh, Quite solid SSD. Shemi doesn't have DRAM, it would definitely raise the price, but regardless of that, it would give uh, much more, uh, let's say, consistency and stability to this SSD. But regardless of that, I did benchmarks and I did check the speeds, and the speeds are there. The consistency is also there in a benchmark. So let's check this out. AS SSD read speeds go up to 4999.76 megabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 493.08 megabytes per second. Auto disk benchmark. Now, this is where I check consistency and thermals because this benchmark actually lasts a bit longer. So, read speeds go up to 504.43 megabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 500.73 megabytes per second. Consistency is there because during the whole benchmark, we had, um, let's say, 5 megabytes up and down, plus minus, uh, in the results, which is still really good. Let's remember some M.2 SSDs have 500 megabytes per second up and down, which isn't good, of course. And uh, the thermals, 44 degrees constant throughout the whole Autodisk benchmark uh, test. Uh, but then we go to the Crystal Disk Mark, we have read speeds going up to 540 point 63 megabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 522.74 megabytes per second. Uh, IOPS read uh, 64,252.44 and IOPS write 68,372.80. Now I also did some uh, real-life benchmarking. 
in terms of transfer files, 19.1 gigabyte file transfer, single file, read speeds 495 megabytes per second, while the write speeds 487 megabytes per second. So all in all, even though it's drumless and everything else, uh, it didn't create some additional problems that might have worried me, right? The 16 terabyte version looks appealing just because it's high capacity, even eight terabyte, of course. It's high capacity and it could give you some storage solution. If for instance, you're not trusting hard drives anymore because of all the hardware inside the hard drive, uh, you will definitely consider SSDs for your NAS ride or anything uh, in those terms. But uh, regardless of that, the thermals were quite all right. And I think they mentioned on their website, they actually did some cooling for better dissipation, even though it's a plastic chassis and I don't see anywhere a possibility for it to dissipate. Maybe this sticker on top is graphene and that kind of helps to dissipate the heat through the plastic. I don't know. But uh, regardless of everything, uh, this is Team Group's EX2 Elite uh, 2.5 inch 6 gigabit per second uh, SATA 3 and uh, performance is there as they stated. Once again, shame is drumless. It would be much, much better. Uh, if you think one of these capacities of the EX2 Elite uh, is suitable for you and with the speeds that I shown you would fit your budget and the performance that you need for your, I don't know, upgrade or storage solution. Uh, I'll place the links in the description below so you can check out uh, all of that. But before you go, there's something I do have to say. These are Team Group T-Force Delta DDR5 RGB 2 times 48 gigabytes. And uh, next in line when it comes to Team Group products, I'll be reviewing that quite shortly to check out First of all, this will be the first time on my channel, two times 48 gigabytes. I'm going to benchmark them as per usual. So do stick around. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and click the notification bell. So you don't miss that video for the Delta DDR5 RGB memories. This was EX2 Elite. See you next time, guys. Bye bye.